That political spar is on. Uh, Andy Williams, he, not the singer, political commentator. Russell Quirk, not the singer, political commentator. Welcome back. Right, gentlemen. Uh, just very quickly, Hannah in Stafford. Uh, Labour should stop talking about who caused the issues and who's at fault and tell us their plan. We're still yet to understand any plan. I understand it takes time, but they must know what their plan is as they went on so much about it in the election campaigns. I agree with you, Jeremy, on Australia. I'll just tell you, Hannah, and I'll tell you too what somebody said to me once about winning an election. It's very, very simple. You gather together a group of lower and middle class disillusioned people and you tell them what's wrong with their lot in life and who's to blame for it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you win an election. You don't necessarily tell them what you do to make it better. 20 to 6. America. I'd love both of your responses. The most extraordinary weekend. This man is... I, I mean, I don't know how to describe Donald Trump. The picture of the bullet, the raised fist. Yesterday, the Florida court dropping the, the secret documents or the nicking of the documents. Then he picks J.D. Vance, who makes Donald Trump, as you said, quirky, like look a like a liberal. Mm. Uh, he came out today and said that England is the first Islamic nation uh, with nuclear weapons. And Islam Islam all your... Islamist nation. Islamist, yeah. I mean, that, that's just an absolutely insane thing to say. I mean, the, about Donald Trump, firstly... Obviously, he looks highly, highly likely to win the election now, and I think what happened over the weekend makes him even more likely to win the election, notwithstanding his opponent who is, let's say, in severe difficulty. Um, I think, tr I personally think Trump winning would be a really, really bad thing for the world in many, many ways, not least because he's going to leave Ukraine swinging. Let's can be I, honest can about I throw it. something but, in? You've gone. But as, but as you can say, but all, all of that notwithstanding, one thing we saw at the weekend is he's an outstanding politician, right? Whatever you think oh, of him, and God. I couldn't, I cannot stand his politics, but as a politician, generational talent, to be able, and you were just saying off air, Jeremy, to be able to have the presence of mind after being shot, to put your fist up and knowing he knew that was going to be an image As the for the blood ages. Trickled down his face. He's, can I just say I mean, about? It's remarkable. Can I just say about um, the Ukraine thing? I, 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 in terms of Donald Trump, I don't always believe all he says, and I think he says stuff for interesting for for for, for, for reaction. However, I, I, I will say this: I think that um, <laughs> I said this yesterday. You should have seen some of the response. You know. When Barack Obama became president of America, the first African-American, I thought he was on the cusp of doing amazing things. I think he was a complete letdown. I think that if people are honest about Joe Biden and Barack Obama, they haven't actually achieved an nth of what they were believing or they were saying they were going to. If I still say this every day, people don't like it. If you go to middle America, and I've been to Columbus, Ohio, you ask middle America and they will tell you they were better off under Donald Trump. And that doesn't say an awful lot about, well, 11 and a half years of Democrat Democratic rule in Obama. Do, do you understand what I mean by that? I'm not sticking up for that. I'm with you, but it, but it's very interesting. But, but the US has the same problems as we have in that you know they but in reverse almost. So they've got a left-leaning president and forget his competence for a second, uh, who has done everything possible to encourage immigration, illegal and yeah, yeah. legal. Uh, so that country now will be suffering as a consequence of that. You know, the fact that certain states are bussing tens of thousands of immigrants around the country trying to shoo them into a corner somewhere, I mean, is, is unbelievable. Um, and, you know, so, so Biden's record is exactly what Keir Starmer's record is going to be in four or five years' time. I, uh, more immigration. Um, and, of course, look, yesterday highlighted also what happens when you decide to go absolutely woke with regard to public sector organisations, namely the Secret Service. Uh, what we saw... Uh, over the weekend with Trump's issue was we've got a head of the Secret Service that used to be, and I said this on Kevin's show yesterday, uh, that used to be in charge of cans of Pepsi. That's true. She is now the head of the Secret Service and her doctrine, her number one thing, her focus, her pledge over the last year or so has been to ensure equality and diversity in the Secret Service. How did that work out on Saturday? I just, I Not just, very well. I just, well. You've got a load of Melissa McCarthy types that are about five foot two, couldn't even put their guns back in their holsters. It was absolutely <laughs> pathetic. That's what happens when you go woke. It gets people killed, United States of I, America. I just don't... I do not think that what happened on Saturday and the Secret Service failing, and it obviously was a Did you see the video? Failing. Yeah, I've, I've, seen, the videos, see the I've seen the video of the guy on the roof and like... everybody shouting, police, police, look oh. over there, look over there, and then failing to respond. I don't think that's because of some kind of 
woke. It is. It's been, I, you, yeah, had I, a, you had a sniper on the roof who had for no, three it's just minutes. People being rubbish for three job. minutes, he had it's the assailant people, in his sight. It's and just was told by the head of the Secret job. Service, no, don't fire, don't fire. And then JD Vance, because I've got lots to get through and I've got long. First <laughs> Islamist country with nuclear weapons. JD Vance, I've got a theory. I think that Donald Trump is going to do. I think it's against his very nature, but I suspect he's going to try and do. Be told to try and do a Starmer, a Ming vase. Don't say Jack. So what he's done is he's got a vice president who can be his attack dog and say what well, he doesn't feel he has to because he has to. JD Vance didn't say that we are. He was asked who it will be. So he's suggesting that Britain, because of the Labour government, this is specifically what he said, and because of its open door policy on immigration and how it acquiesces to you know, Islamist extremism, yep, yep. in his view, and that of several others, Let's, hang on. on, he believes that this country will end up in a position where it will be Islamist and will also have already had the... Andy, 30 seconds, and yeah. I'm moving on. I mean, that's, that's just... What he meant. I, 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 even if that is what he meant, that's just so... That's so... Well, that is so far from reality. I mean, it's not going to happen. It's, it's absolutely mad. But it's the increase mad. in the Muslim I mean, population has been a million in the course of the last government. That does not a million mean extra Muslims. That Britain is any... And there is an element that are extremists. Doesn't there there's an element there is an extreme. element of of every single demographic to the, to, to the same extent so we've got Christians blowing up buses and tube trains are we well w we did not really? that long ago on when? on the British Isles well when? there were in oh, you mean the IRA 30 or 40 years ago I'm talking about not now that long, not, it's not, not that, ancient history it's not that long ago it's not that long Quirk is on it. Um, the other thing, gentlemen, doctors, front of the mail today, are, are now being told to lecture us on climate change. Oh, thank goodness. Than, I mean, Jeremy. isn't that tremendous At, at long last. I, I've been waiting for this, haven't you? I, I want to get look, an appointment. I don't I, want to be I'm, told why I want to do whatever. Jeremy, Andy, I'm old-fashioned. I just think that the NHS might want to focus on being a bit more efficient rather than worrying about a climate I'm change I'm going thing. to stick up. But even if the NHS became net zero, it wouldn't make any difference to the global situation whatsoever. I'm going to be met with rasping boos. I'm going to stick up for a Labour cabinet minister. Good Good on Wes Streeting for sticking up for the ban on puberty blockers, mm. by the way. Good on him. Good yep. on him. I hope... I like Wes Streeting. I don't know whether people disagree with me. Let's give him a chance at the NHS. Wes, That's me being honest. Wes Streeting, I think, is the next Prime Minister. No, I think he's a Tory. I, I don't think he's... I, <laughs> do you know what? I think it's really, really interesting. I agree with both of you. I think he is far he's good. more centre than Starmer. I he's think good. Wes Streeting is a... As a brilliant shout. He's to take probably over. the, and I don't say this as a criticism, by the way, I'm a Blairite. He's probably the most right wing person in the cabinet. You're a Blairite? Right? Yes. You took us into an illegal war. How can you I do didn't. that? No, but you're <laughs> the, man that you, the man that you propagated. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I'm a Thatcherite. Go on, slag me off. I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just staying honest. I think, no, I think, but I mean, this is a bit what of a rabbit means hole, is, but Blair... apart from the mass murder of civilians and soldiers, Blair was fine. Yeah. Poor old Andy, he's having a nightmare. What? Right, two okay. things, a bit more light-hearted. Uh, you're a big football fan. It I was am. pathetic. I'm not giving him a knighthood. Start, start, start. Southgate's gone. Uh, very good, thank you. No knighthood from me. Who's the next England manager in your mind? Who do you want? I would like it to be... I think So I think you've got two If you go English, yep. I think go Eddie Howe. That's yep. going to be difficult because you've got a prize and wait no, for Newcastle. No, it's not going to be difficult he's got because a great Amanda Stavely's lost. Right. Uh, Amanda Stavely has left Newcastle. Right, OK. The woman who was the chair. So Eddie there. Howe, if you go English, I yep. think Graham Potter would be a big worry. I think if you're going to go foreign manager, I mean, you'd love to see Klopp, surely. Yeah, but I said this. Winner. Yeah, I agree serial with you. Winner. And I said this to the Suns editor, whose name in sport, Char Ch Charlie Wyatt. I said it to him earlier and he absolutely answered okay, that. Do you know what he said to me? You know the Liverpool connection, booing the fans, booing the national anthem and Klopp and Liverpool. It's a really salient point. Yeah. That's a really good point. Fair point. In that case, too cool. Interesting. I don't know enough about that silly game of football to comment oh, on this. Oh, shut your Except face. that what I would say to make a political point, of course, is that I think the next England manager should be Gary Lineker. Why? To get him off the bloody BBC and Brilliant. Keep and his final mouth question. Uh, best and worst biscuits in the world. We're divided over the worst biscuit of all time. Uh, many people say the worst biscuit of all time is, well, lots of things today, those pink flaky wafer things. Andy, worst biscuit? White chocolate digestive. It's just wrong. Very isn't it? interesting. That's just wrong. crap. Yeah, yes, we shout. like that. Good no, shout. we ate that. Um, Worst. Rich tea biscuits because no. they're just like pieces Ooh. of cardboard. No, 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 no. <laughs> you're you're no, a dunker, aren't you? I am a dunker. I like to dunker. dip it in. You that can just tell you're right. a dunker. Uh, what about your favourite biscuit? And he said, ladies and gentlemen. Can I be controversial? Yes. Jaffa cake. It's not it a biscuit. It is a biscuit. It's what not it a is, biscuit. What was, the cake. what was the outcome of that court it case? Was it a biscuit or a cake? I don't. Was it a vat thing? Do you know what I used to it do? Was thing. I used to use my teeth to take all the chocolate off and then lick the marmalade off and then eat the rest of it. Oh my god! Well, Jaffa. That sounds like you're treating it. You're treating it like your favourite. Jaffa though. cake. What about what about a jammy dodger? Mm. Not for me. What about you? Favourites. Yeah. Dark chocolate ginger. 
Ooh, Jodie likes a ginger nut. Dark chocolate ginger nuts. There you go. She's looking very excited. Gentlemen, thank you. Uh, what shows would you talk about? Gareth Southgate, Illegal Migration and Dunking Your Ginger Nuts. <laughs>